Time to play with some clay. All right, we got both clays in the back of uh, Paul's van, I mean truck. Van? Van, truck, whatever. And uh, we got them uh, screwed down to the uh, board. We got something to prop up the board so the screws won't go into his beautiful seats. And we're ready to go. It's 7.04 a.m. I'm never up this time. Well, I am, but I usually go back to bed. <laughs> All right, we're off. We're off. Well, it's a little bumpy, but uh, we're heading south now. That's the Madison Mountain Range, and just over that is Yellowstone National Park and the super volcano that we're all waiting for to blow. <laughs> all right, he's just aiming at it. Isn't that a beautiful sunrise over the Madison Mountains? That's the Sphinx over there. Got a little bit of smoke still, but. Yeah. That's what makes it look neat. He's got to take a picture. <laughs> Can't resist it. All right. We're going to continue on. Hold on. We had to stop for a cow who's crossing the road. <laughs> He's saying. We almost had some steaks. Let me, how do you put the window Here, on? I'll get it. So, anyway. That's what you got to do. You got to be careful. You don't want to be running into cows. <laughs> <laughs> right up ahead here is uh, the slide area that uh, took place in 1959 earthquake in Yellowstone Park. The whole mountain. The mountain is the one in the center. I don't know if you can even see it. Of the canyon on the uh, right side of the canyon. And... Uh, the whole mountain just fell and buried a whole bunch of people and they're still buried under that mountain. And dammed off the uh, Madison River. Yeah, yeah. They had all the people in Ennis, Montana, where I live, camp out on the hillside because they were expecting the dam up here to dam to break because the, the whole lake tipped and they were afraid that uh, the dam was going to break. Anyway, we're going to be turning south into Idaho here in a few minutes. Actually, in two seconds. Yep. Right now. And that's Paul driving. He's a crazy man. <laughs> well, <laughs> they stay. I, I think I'm okay. <laughs> All right. How's it going? Oh, you can hear lambs back there. That is. Yeah, look, look at the lambs. Oh, he's yeah. Sheep. sheep, yeah. That is so cool. You better get going or else we're going to be hit. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Look at all those sheep. I know, Holy it's cow. all through the woods there. That is so cool. That he, is neat. He was probably not used to having anybody no, talk to him. <laughs> no. Well, we're in Idaho. Could you put the window up? Yeah. We're in Idaho and we're coming down out of the uh, plateau. Where the pine trees, what was it that fell? There's my phone, it's no big deal, I'm gonna Was stop. it your phone? Yeah, but we're okay. Oh. Anyway, we're coming down uh, off the plateau here into the uh, flat plains of Idaho. The boring part of Idaho. The farmland uh, of Idaho. Anyway, it's uh, 8.52 in the morning. We've been on the road for close to two hours. We got an hour and 50 minutes left. We've been goofing, so it's why it's taking us a little longer. It's the journey. It's just a journey. People who filed jobless claims last week fell to 881,000. The fewest yet. We're listening to the news on uh, Election Day is two Paul's phone. To a new normal. We All right, we're heading uh, east towards Jackson Hole. You can see the Grand Tetons, but barely. It's uh, real smoky here. Probably from the fires in California. With access to discount you know, California is something. Well, I'm not going to say that. Don't waste time at the post office or UPS store. Print official stamps and labels. Look at that. 
Yeah, I know. And look, no, I, I'm and get that up a little further. I'm thinking. Once your meals ready, look at that. Look at that old green greenery. Make a nice, nice home out of that. It's a no, no kidding. Right now, listeners get a special. Hey, look how far you'd have to go to get anything. Plus free postage and a digital scale with no long-term commitment. This country is so beautiful in the winter time. Absolutely unbelievable. That's the Teton Range way off in the distance. I'm sure you can't see it. Maybe you can. I don't know. I can only see what I can see on the screen. All right. All right, we're coming down off the Teton Pass into Jackson Hole. This is such a pretty area. I wouldn't want to be driving that car right now. I wouldn't want to drive a semi down this right now. No. Especially when it's snowing. Could you open the window? Oh, yeah. Wait, how do I do it? I got it. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. This is my life size iron. Uh, this is my life size silent arrow. This is a sculpture by me uh, called Rendezvous Fusseralls. I dis did this piece a long time ago. Now this is a small version of a uh, silent arrow that I did and this is what I did based the uh, larger than life size from. <laughs> so this is uh, how they got my clay of uh, a warrior's farewell showing in here in the gallery. And then this over here is Crazy Horse, which we've already sold two copies of. I'll be picking these up in November to get into the foundry.
This is my uh, Night Sentinel. The way it's displayed here right now. They may move it at some point. This is a sculpture I did a while back called Touch the Clouds. Well, that's it in the gallery. I'm uh, just waiting for the uh, other people to come by so we can go back home. This is the uh, Iron Horn, the small version of the uh, big one that I showed you. Alright, we're leaving uh, Jackson Hole. There's the Tetons directly ahead. I'll zoom in on them. They're absolutely magnificent from here. This, this whole valley is magnificent, but then again, that's why the big money moves here. All right. All right. We got a big old potato out here. We got to show everybody. Oh, there is? Yeah, it's I got video of it. Okay, good. I've driven by that so many times, I've never stopped to take a picture of it. Look at that Columbine. He's got a flag right on the Columbine. I just love that. If anybody's confused about what America is, this is what That's it is. America right yeah, that's there. That's what we got going on right here. A John Deere. They do not grow stakes on trees, if anybody's confused about that. We're in Ashton, Idaho on the way back home. I love the fact he's got that flag on there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That's awesome. Mesa Falls Driving right next to the that. graveyard, by the way. Yeah. People are dying to get into there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Glad you got it on GoPro. <laughs> we just pulled into a frost what what is it called? Uh, A and W. No, it's called Frosties, or okay. something like that. It's been here since 1965, and you drive in, and they come to the car, they serve you, uh, or ask you what you want, and then they bring it out to the car. I haven't been in one of these in a long time. This is in Ashton, Idaho. This is Middle America at its finest, and we're all here to get a root beer, a A and W root beer. I love this place. What? Are you filming this? Yeah, we got you going in and out. All right. All right, we're back in Montana. Well, the sun's setting. We're about uh, two minutes, five minutes from home. But uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming along on our trip with us. Say good night, Paul. Good night, Paul. Say good night. Good night. Boy, her story of how she got to Jackson Hole from Texas yep. is crazy. Anyway, we good live, night, everybody. We, we, I'll see we, you next time. We live in crazy. Yeah, that's true. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time